All right, so we've been eating off this greenhouse now for about, I want to say like a month and a half. Um, we planted it a little while back. It usually takes some of these things anywhere from 30 to 50 days to grow. Um, and it's been a little slower because we're in the winter and this is part of our new experiment. Um, I didn't really film uh, the construction of this thing, uh, but you know, I'm kind of coming up with this as I go. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so we're going to take this thing, we're going to break it down, we're going to we're gonna get back to, to basics, and I'm going to be putting some compost in here, some stuff that I've been growing for the last year. Um, and I'll probably make another video later on showing how I did that. That's uh, all part of the Johnson Sioux um, bioreactor method. Uh, it had, makes fantastic compost. Uh, big fan, big fan of that situation uh, that you guys have probably heard about, but, um, you know, it's, it's always nice to see new people trying it. So um, I'll show you my version of it. And uh, yeah, so stick with me and I'll be, you know, making greenhouse. Magic happen. Yeah. Out with the old, in with the new. guy this is gonna see buck the buck it's buck the buck what's that buck you buck you some new guy you some new stuff yeah that's buck the buck Let's see if we got any eggs whoa yo look at that Mm. Girl's been doing work. All right, let's get these out of here before somebody comes there and starts pecking them. Look at these guys. You get some mold in this guy. This guy didn't make it. Yeah. I don't think this guy is going to make it. Almost. Look at this guy though, this guy's crushing. Well, it's nice. It's nice. This one's got a nice bitter, bitter taste to it. I think this is Curl Crest. I don't remember which one it is. We kind of got a little cha-cha-cha when we, when we planted this and um, you know, a lot of the manure that we had gotten, a lot of the cover crop that was in there, that the forage from the the farm that we had gotten it from has come up, uh, which is pretty surprising. And then these guys, also, these tomato plants, I didn't put those in there. This was in the uh, vermiculture worm castings that I have going in the barn. And uh, they started shooting up, they were taking off, and so I was like, hey, I wanna see how they do. See if we can get tomatoes in the winter. Um, and so if you look over here, I mean, these guys are just crushing. Look at this guy. Look at, we got little guys right there. You got maters coming in. Um, and then I, I'm excited. I think these, I think this guy right here is, I think these guys are going to be delicious. And then this guy as well, just it's such a pretty looking plant. Super into it. like I got some aphids in here which I gotta be honest with you I'm a little surprised that aphids showed up this time of year it's late January light on that. see those guys they're all over my mustard grains it's bad for mustard greens so what I'm gonna do uh, so I'm doing, this is a biodynamic operation in the making here. And uh, if y'all aren't familiar with what biodynamics is, I'd suggest checking it out. It is um, a form of farming that was started 100 years ago 
uh, based off of a series of lectures given by a gentleman named Rudolf Steiner. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to explain right here and now, but one of the things that we do is, is, um, is uh, address pests that are in, uh, that are interfering with your crops. So I'm gonna do that process. I'll make another video explaining all that. Just saving these aphids for said uh, pest reduction operation. Um, but also, I'm gonna uh, also gonna apply some neem oil. And one of the issues I had uh, with applying neem oil is I can't get that oil to disperse in water, obviously. So uh, I'm gonna go over and see my friend Tim. He is a chemist, and he has uh, an emulsifier. Um, couple different options, a bunch of words, I don't know, I, I kind of tranced out when he was saying what they were, but uh, I'm going to let Tim explain it. So we're going to head on over to his place and uh, see if we can't get some oils to emulsify. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> tiny carrots! Get some little tiny carrot fingers. That's adorable. I think we need to have deeper garden beds. What do you think, Danny? Is it good? She's out. Doesn't want to get caught.